Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah Fate. Let's hope that that, that let's hope that it auto saved. Oh, it did. Awesome. So I did figure out that if you hit Escape, there is settings, and I turn them to the subtitles on. I'm also not playing this with my um headphones. That way, hopefully, we'll be able to hear the sound. It may have a slight echo. And I thought, might as well just experiment with the volume now while um, we're still here. So anyways, the reason why I have any... Oh, we have 30 gold. So, um, for those of you who are not... Who still... Who, for those of you who do not know what this game is, it just happened chance and this was recommended for you on YouTube. Then, um, Hand of Fate is a sort of a strategy game where you get cards and you fight things. It It's a very unique game. I don't have enough money for that. Or that. I have enough money for that. So this tells me where the stairs are. Okay, let's go ahead and get it. An item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. Oh, I can't get that. No, that was an equip button. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get some food as well while we're here. I'm sure uh, you're grateful for that. Yes. Also, um, the dealer is a little, um, he's not very nice. Hmm? Okay, so do I have to redo this? Choose your next card now. Reveal. Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? So you're saying that only greedy people play this game? I really have nothing else better to do with my time right now. Okay then. You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold a special, a spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Draw two monster cards. Um, attempt to attack them by surprise or sneak away. Attack them by surprise. There are two huge successes and two failures. A choice. Select your desire. That's my first failure. Attempt to sneak them by surprise. You are spotted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. Let's I'm gonna be honest with you, that would have happened to me if it was any normal game. Anyways, I'm still open for suggestions on names for the spider, by the way. So leave your suggestions down there. I've been toying with naming it Natasha since it is a black widow. And Natasha is Marvel's Black Widow. Okay, then this looks terrifying. It's a good thing we have our handy Danny Holy Mace of Awesomeness. Oh, wow, this was very well done. Sorry for the um, insane amount of clicking. I think I did say that I do not do um, shields very well in these types of games. The dealer draws you three game cards, cards, and this card's token is now mine. So I draw an equipment card for my deck. Oh, this is amazing! So once per combat, press two to activate an aura that makes it, that makes every successful strike. Drop a gold. That is very useful. Artifacts give you powerful abilities to use in combat. Thank you. I already knew that. We got more food and a gold. 
Take the token. It is yours. Thank you. I don't think we have enough money to go back and buy anything here at the shop. So I will go ahead and continue. Speaking of, wow, I look like an insane barbarian. Can I change my adventure? Oh, I have armor to sell. I might go do that. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer. Gaze into my crystal bowl and I shall materialize the item you so desire for the right price. Oh, they changed the environment again. It's beautiful. Sell items. Sell items. Um, I want to sell this medium armor. Because I already have that one thing. And then we're going to go... I'm good here. Back. Buy items. Healing cap, I can afford that, I don't want it. Light armor and a shield. Okay, um, this is useful. Daring combat press you to throw knives in eight directions. Let's go ahead and save our money since we do already have another artifact that does that thing. Actually, no, we are going to a final boss. No, no, you know, uh, it should be fine. We'll, we'll risk. I will go ahead and buy um, some food, though. And I don't want four food for. Okay, whatever. Yes. Okay then. So, done with that, and then we go forward, go over, and then go over one more. Jack of Skulls, this Young dead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness, an error, cheating. Subtiles are a bit off. This treacherous undead is usually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, the skeleton has the power to Revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm-blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legends are effect effectively, efficiently endless. Jack of Skulls. Sorry, I thought it just hit my mind. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Oh yeah, because each token unlocks more cards. Okay, four skulls. So I need to defeat him, Jack of Skulls. Okay, so I need to defeat Jack of Skulls. That way he doesn't um, revive. Cannot be neglected. You would do better to avoid him. Are you agile enough? Um, probably not. But I'd rather keep myself safe. Come on, Jack, die. Um, what I normally think of, what I do mostly with the um, boss fights, especially if they have minions, is that I am much more interested in killing off um, the boss before I do the minions, because normally the minion dies after the boss is killed. Not all the time. Oh, they're gonna collect my gold before I. Oh, I have that. Oh, so I could have gotten out sooner. Interesting. Oh, 
so. Well done. Well done indeed. I've you heard you, Kevin. The dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? Looks like we got a lot of tokens. Okay, the murder the murder at sea DLC has arrived. Visit the landlocked lubber to begin the quest. And that's lover. Okay then. The hunt for the white minotaur has begun. Song of the White Minotaur. The White Council is expanding its influence. The White Council won. The Goblin King's Halls DLC is ready. The Undead awaits your sacrifice. Indecent arrival. I think that was Underworld. We're helping the captain of the guard you received. A mace. And... Oh, I had to pick. For surviving the the devil's choice, you receive devil's wager. For exploring the dead king's hall, you receive treasure chest. A reward for beating my skeleton jack, you receive these new cards. The Cordell? Queen of Dust, Helpful Priest, and Desert Storm. Okay, so Queen of Dust actually brings me to an interesting thought that I actually did have. These are called, we just faced off against two Jacks. The Jack of Dust and the Jack of Skulls. And now we have the Queen of Dust. And he said that there were 11, 12 um, people inside his court. So, I'm pretty sure there are two more suits that we haven't seen yet. And the last thing. Uh, as a reward for being my skeleton, Jack, you receive these cards. Um, Helm of Reflection. Consume, consuming Shame. Angel's, Angel's Wing. And Frost Fang. I want Frost Fang. Shall we deal again? Well, of course we may deal again. The game is just getting more interesting, my friend. Another round, and our game truly begins. Ooh, that goblet wasn't here before. That's a really cool looking goblet. Story mode. So, we can do the queen or the jack, so... Uh, let's go ahead and do the queen... Money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Hmm. So, the more money I have, the slower I'll move in this. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. Hmm. No, she took up arms organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Okay, would you like to use a recommended equipment in deck? Um, yes, because I still feel a bit inadequate for picking things. Um, next time I will, um, yeah, so if I click show deck, Welcome to the wild card update for Hannah Fate. This update adds different fates that you can select in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate provides different modifiers to the game. So 
So difficult apprentice. Oh, it's the different modes. It looks like I have not unlocked. Okay, so we'll just keep it to um difficult because I haven't been seeing anything. So these are all the weapons that I have. Can I put this one in? Yes. I also want to put angel wings in. Let's see here. Sword, 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 mace, 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 mace. There's a lot of those. We don't need. Let's go ahead and get rid of an axe. Actually, I want that mace in there. Also, helm of reflection and this thing. And these would also be useful. So is this my deck? Oh, okay, so I need to put these back in here. Um, go further, further, further. Here we go. So it already puts the stuff in there for you. Awesome. Okay, then back. On Devil's Wager. So these are so this is what's inside my deck. Some cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. Okay, I understand. So I can't get rid of these. Um so I can add can I add a card? Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. This will be a good time to mention that this game is randomly generated each time that you play it. So, yeah. It has a lot of replay value in it. I've added some cards to spice up the game. Oh, of course in you did. In addition to the pain and gain decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Okay, so if we go to our inventory, it looks like we have been stripped back from our gear. So, we're back to our basic stuff. Can we do upgrades? No, I swear we're going to be able to do that at some point. Um, okay, so I have the money curse. So this will make it so I um, in combat the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. So that's fun. Twisted cannon. So we see a weapon, we'll climb down and retrieve it because it might be better than the one that we currently have. Or I can fail. You begin to make your way down the cliff face but soon slip and fall painfully onto the rocks below. So I gotta draw a pain card. And I lost 5 health. Ouch. Do I get the sword at least? And one equipment card. Frostfang! El element. With this trait, it imbued with glacial power. Lizardmen are easily susceptible to ice damage. Okay, so it might not be the best weapon for now, but yes, I want you equipped it. As pleases you. Oh, shut up. So what's this? Helpful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no truck with any of it. Hmm. Okay, well, to each their own. Let us take a token on their foolishness. I don't think he's 
foolish, but whatever you say. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Give the priest half your food. Yes. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is bone. Draw one blessing card. This card's token is now yours. Okay, any kill. Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Any... Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Good to know. Any kill made using an axe grants the player three health. The maiden. You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. Of course there's always light to be found. Why else would the story be worth playing? If there was no light, then there'd be no reason to tell the story. Okay, so we meet an elven maiden so we can ask for... Let's ask for some because I did give food to the priest. So I've got three more food and one more food. That's good. The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you into victory. Farewell, mortal. And we will climb the stairs. This was the end. No, another floor awaits. We're gonna go ahead and take the stairs because there's nothing for us here. And this game is still only beginning. If you new say so. Rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me look at this. Can I? Oh, so they're both equipped. Okay, so I can only have three of those at a time. Interesting. Traveling healer. Um, sure, let's stop by the shop, see what is there to be seen. Maybe spend some gold. Maybe we'll keep the gold for now, just in case if I need to run back to the healer. Oh, that's a scary looking chat. Okay, um, ooh. Remove curses. Ouch, that's a lot of money. I don't have that much money. Sell items. Okay, you, I only have the one item. Buy food. That one's 5 for 11. That one's 3 for 18. Okay, I cannot afford anything in this shop. Oh, I can get a shield now. So, we go in here. Um, we will give him, let's give him the bread. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Uh, he taps on his staff and a shield appears. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? And I got fortitudes of breath. Continue. And discarded the axe that was drawn. The land lover, the landlocked lover. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. 
The door of the landlocked lever, the door to the landlocked lever opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderbolt in a tomb, thunderclap in a tomb. Welcome, traveler. Before I treat you with, with our hospitality, I must ask you a very formal question. Have you ever seen, heard, have you ever seen, heard, or, God forbid, smelled a Kraken? Um, explain, uh, what is a Kraken? Explain that you've never seen a Kraken. I already know what a Kraken is. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more foul a beast than a Kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lover. Oh, it's a bar. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Norwich. No survivors, no witnesses. Then where do the stories come from, I wonder? Norwich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really good happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures towards the empty, bum-ridden flea hole that he calls home. This card's token is now yours. Come now, hurry up. We don't have forever. I thought we did. Hitch a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. I've heard bad things about hitchhiking. I don't want to do this. You find a friendly traveler willing to let you ride on his wagon, even if they're friendly. I don't like it. I don't have a choice, do I? You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. What brings you to play the game? I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Wait. So, are you talking about the protagonist being silent, or me not wanting to tell you why, what brings me to play the game? Well, if I knew more about the history of what was going on inside the game, inside this game world, I would be more interested in, you know, telling you what's going on. And don't you be impatient with me, Mr. Cardmaster. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here of The Hand of Fate. Thank you so much for watching, and stay in touch. Goodbye.